This is Extreme Hide and Seek. Hide and Go Seek is a longtime favorite game shared by millions. It's starting. You have 20 minutes to hide. What? 19 minutes to hide. That would be a second. However, these animals have leveled up this game, and for good reason. You see, when one has to fear for their life on the daily, they must adapt and take drastic measures to ensure they live another day. From stick-like critters to a blossom that thrives on murking the life out of prey, here are some invisible animals that are near impossible to see. Let's get into it. Number 8. Malayan Leaf Frog in terms of natural camouflage, the Malayan leaf frog, aka long-nosed horned frog, is up there with the best of them. Looking like a dead leaf on a forest floor, this ambush predator remains well hidden waiting for its unsuspecting prey. With a triangular horn or leaf-like projections atop each eye and nose and their brownish-gray color complete with veins and patterns, this frog looks exactly like a dead leaf. Living among the leaf litter in the damp and cool lowland rainforest, these leaf-mimicking frogs do an amazing job blending in with their surroundings, aiding them in capturing desirable prey as well as avoiding their own predators. With a commitment to the game like none other, these perma-frown frogs take pride in their ability to play dead, remaining motionless until the time is right to strike at a tasty meal that wanders too close. Number 7. Tawny Frogmouth what do you see? An extended dead branch or an owl lost in thought? Well, it's neither. This is the tawny frogmouth, and although they look like owls, they aren't even closely related. They're part of the nightjar family and are predominantly in Australia. These nocturnal hunters are an unusual looking bird that's evolved a strange and unique way of camouflage. They will stretch out their bodies, flatten their wings and feathers, narrow their eyelids to obscure their yellow eyes, and sit perfectly still and silent for hours on end, straight. This cryptic camouflage helps keep the predators away during the day as they look like a tree stump or a branch with their mottled plumage blending seamlessly into the forest environment. These short, stout birds measure around 8 to 20 inches tall, and their beak is abnormally wide, like the mouth of a frog, hence the name. Unlike the other nighttime predators who actively hunt, they stay disguised on a branch and wait for any unsuspecting prey such as insects, small mammals, and reptiles to come into ambush range. Talk about living the easy life. Number 6. Walking Stick Insect Can you spot them in this background? How about now? Those twig-like critters are none other than the walking stick insect. As the name hints at, these guys disguise themselves by looking like sticks or twigs, effectively escaping predation by blending into plant material. But their impressive camouflage isn't their only defense mechanism. If one were to ever be too close to danger, it would leap off the branch, hit the ground, and play dead. If it's caught, they simply break free by leaving a limb behind as a souvenir and grow it back the next time they molt. Some have evolved to release a foul-smelling liquid when threatened. In order to keep up the walking stick act, these insects walk very slowly and gently sway from side to side like a twig blown by the breeze. These stealthy sticks are strictly herbivores, favoring fresh green leaves, and lucky for them, there's plenty of salad in their neck of the woods. Number 5. Orchid Mantis we move on to a more beautiful creature, so beautiful they've got flowers spewing jealousy. These mantises are such a beauty to behold, that's if you even spot them to begin with. Ever heard the saying, all that glitters isn't gold? Apparently all those petals aren't flowers. This is an orchid mantis, and any insects that mistake it for a flower pay a deadly price. Orchid mantises, aka insect disguised overlords, mimic the textures and color of the orchid's petals. However, this lethal bloom doesn't use its cryptic mimicry as camouflage. They use it to attract prey, such as flower-seeking insects, though it does help them to go unnoticed by those that do prey upon them. This voracious carnivore isn't picky and will eat almost any insect it can wrap its toothy arms around with reflexes so quick you'll miss it if you blink. They're highly predacious and take their prey by surprise, eating them alive. And just like all praying mantises, the female tends to eat the male after mating. So his best chance of getting laid without getting eaten is to go for it when she's eating something that's not him. A pretty twisted love affair. Number 4. Leaf Katydids In their element, the many species of leaf katydids are too freaking good at looking like leaves and forest floor litter with some matching almost to perfection. I mean, they look like a species cursed to resemble leaves after eating the leaf god's favorite plant, or maybe Mother Nature couldn't decide which they'd be, so she just left them looking like both an insect and a leaf. 
Leaf katydids spend their days hiding in trees and foliage and dine at night on a variety of plant leaves, flowers, and sometimes tiny insects like aphids. The over 6,000 species of katydids have their various modes of camouflage, from the spike-headed false leaf katydid being a real green leaf ninja to the dead leaf mimic katydid cryptically coming in strong with their near-perfect resemblance to dead or decaying leaves. Their camouflage is so detailed it even sports the veins running through a leaf as well as twig-like legs. That's simply insane. Number 3. Potu Bird Remember the tawny frogmouth? Say hello to its freakishly weird brother, the Patu Bird. The cartoon bird, as they're referred to by memers, have characteristically big eyes, which along with their giant mouths are the only things that give it away when it decides to go patu, or camouflage in simple terms. Looking like a tree stump or broken branch in its daytime sleeping pose, as well as being gifted with the color of camo, this clever nocturnal insectivore easily hides out in the open. Although the patu bird shuts its eyes in order to go full camouflage, the naughty critter can still see. This is because patu birds have small folds along their upper eyelids that allow them to sense movement even when their eyes are shut. And just when you thought this hauntingly cute bird's face was the only daunting thing about them, their cryptic call will send chills down your spine. Imagine hearing this in the dead of night. Number 2. Giant Malaysian Leaf Insect You are what you eat. Words never rang more true for this guy. Known as the leaf insect or the walking leaf, this species of insect lives in forests in Malaysia and Indonesia. And its leaf-like camouflage is extraordinary, right down to the veins, patterns, colors, and leafy appendages on its legs, literally blending into its food. But they don't start off looking like fresh green leaves. Its appearance adapts over time to match the surroundings. So this living natural habitat is always up to date. Some can look like a brittle, dried up leaf. Others can look like they're in various decaying stages, displaying browned edges like a dying leaf would exhibit. This commitment to mimicking leaves is impressive right down to swaying back and forth with the foliage when caught in a breeze, enhancing their disguise and making it all the more difficult for predators to detect them. Being a herbivore, they're only a threat to the plants they dine on in the comfort of the night. Number 1. Barren Caterpillar What's green and hairy and has many legs? This guy. And he's a camouflage expert, to say the least. The barren caterpillar dons a yellowish-white spine that they line up with the midrib of a leaf, and their pine needle-like bristles help them disappear against the green and the veins of the leaf, making it nearly impossible to tell them apart as they blend into the backdrop and become one with the leaf. These caterpillars become active at night, feasting on mango leaves, which is their favorite food. They rest on the mid-rib of the leaf between feedings, hiding away from any predators looking for a snack. I mean, all a caterpillar wants is to eat and not be eaten. Without a doubt, these animals are gifted when it comes to the art of hiding in plain sight, basically running their own magic show. But in this case, they're hiding from the audience. Which one was your favorite? We'll catch you later.